Okay, another take on using phosphoric acid uh, to help protect your metal. Um, the farthest back that I can find reference to uh, using phosphoric acid is the Handbook of Chemistry from 1949, which I have a copy of. Uh, I'm sure that it was known before then. Um, there are various uh, chemicals and acids and whatnot that can be used uh, to stabilize uh, various metals. For example, uh, although many grades of stainless steel do not rust, uh, some do, uh, and uh, those can be treated with nitric acid and that will stabilize uh, the stainless. Uh, this method of treating to stabilize the metal from oxidation is called passivating. Uh, and this bottle Uh, this ancient bottle from PPG, uh, this is probably two or three decades old, uh, and they called it DX579 Metal Cleaner, but it was actually phosphoric acid. The phosphoric acid solutions, for whatever reason, um, are always tinted green, and again, we use it in a spray bottle, and on this project right now, we're going to use it in a garden sprayer. Now, the hot setup on a garden, garden sprayer is to insert a tire valve stem uh, into the container and thereby relieving you uh, of having to pump your arm off to get some pressure inside the container. Now, I would like to mention uh, that some uh, people are of the belief that the phosphoric acid coating uh, should be washed off uh, once you spray it on. Uh, it even says to do that in the directions on the OSPHO bottle, OSPHO, O-S-P-H-O, uh, which is available uh, commercially to the public uh, in hardware stores. Uh, it even says to do that. However, that is a terrible mistake. You're washing off. Uh, the precious chemistry that you just applied to the steel. Uh, it also says that it can't be used on cast iron, which is also just simply not true. Uh, these are methods that we've been using for 40 years, as I have previously mentioned, and it is the best surface upon which to apply paint. Um, so uh, we spray it on, uh, blow it off, air dry it, uh, torch dry it, whatever works, uh, and move on. Uh, when you, all your parts are uh, all uh, passivated, uh, then they're ready for paint whenever you want to paint. Um, once the uh, metal has been stabilized like this, you can set the parts aside for months as long as they are indoors. They will not surface rust as long as they are protected from rain. If you leave it outside in the rain, well, yes, of course, it's going to re-rust, but not so inside. I have uh, sections. Uh, of Model A, uh, Model A Ford frames here that I passivated literally decades ago and they look just like I did them yesterday. They've been stored inside and they are preserved until I need a piece of that frame for a project. This method of passivation uh, was learned from a uh, old time restorer from decades ago uh, who restored Packards to a very high quality. Now you can see the change and the color of the metal with this method.
And now you have that sort of battleship gray uh, appearance uh, because the surface that you're looking at now is not raw cast iron. Uh, it is iron phosphate. The phosphoric acid converts uh, the surface to uh, iron phosphate, which is very, very, very stable against oxygen. If you're wondering about uh, having the acid cause any kind of burns on your skin, uh, it's good to keep in mind that phosphoric acid is actually the main ingredient of Coca-Cola. Uh, phosphoric acid is an organic acid. It is not a mineral acid such as hydrochloric acid um, or sulfuric acid. Those are acids to have a lot of respect for. But this is a very, 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 very mild acid. Um, and yes, you do want to protect your skin. Um, but if you get some on you, it's just not the end of the world.
The only way to really prove that to you is to deliberately put some on my skin. And I'm gonna wipe it off, but I don't feel it. It doesn't have a burning sensation. And the only thing it's gonna do is make my skin cleaner than it already was. Uh, it's a good trick uh, to keep in mind. If you do this before uh, you put uh, Bondo or uh, body filler or, or uh, paint or whatever you're gonna do as your next step, you can rest assured that you're going to have a very, very, very long lasting paint job. This is as good as it gets for paint preparation. Thank you for watching.